Would you like to experience a happier, healthier way of living in the days, weeks, and months ahead? If so, I'll share with you five self-care suggestions that can help you do exactly that, to include a suggestion that, before you set any goal, you consciously choose a small number of life themes and allow those chosen life themes to guide you day by day toward a happier, healthier, more fulfilling life. Welcome to this episode of Easy Stress Cures. Thank you for joining me. I'm your host, Stephen Carter, founder of Stress Solutions, LLC, which is now Stress Solutions USA. Over more than four decades, I've helped thousands of people create happier, healthier, more successful lives using an array of mind-body methods to include hypnosis, meditation, emotional release method, and many others. In this episode, you and I are going to explore five self-care suggestions. That also includes a process for choosing what I call life themes to guide you rather than attempting to achieve the same old goals you've tried and failed to achieve year after year. Suggestion one, make self-care a priority and schedule it into your daily routine. Make self-care a priority and schedule it into your daily routine. This could be as simple as setting aside a few minutes each day to do something that nourishes your mind, body, and spirit. Suggestion two, practice self-compassion and be kind to yourself. It is okay to make mistakes And it is imperative to be gentle with yourself when things don't go as planned. Mistakes are stepping stones to success. Be kind, be gentle to yourself, and know mistakes are an everyday part of life. Suggestion three, set life themes. Set life themes. Identify one to three of the most important life themes, themes that you would like to live your life by over the coming weeks, months, and perhaps even years. When you choose compelling life themes, goals will almost automatically emerge. Examples of life themes could be one, Create more loving relationships with important people in your life. A second possibility, eat with my optimum health in mind. Three, declutter my living space and simplify my life. Four, set boundaries with others and learn to say no Two, commitments that drain your energy or conflict with your values. And five, engage in regular physical exercise and movement to improve health and emotional well-being. These are simply suggestions. I encourage you to really give some thought, perhaps journal, ideas, give thought to one to no more than three important life themes you would like to live by for the coming weeks and months and perhaps the year or years ahead. Returning to suggestions for self-care. Suggestion four, do more of what nourishes your mind, body, and spirit. Do more of what nourishes your mind, body, and spirit. Suggestion five, do activities you've always thought about doing but haven't yet done 
such as singing, dancing, learning a new skill for the sheer joy of doing it. Do activities you've always thought about doing but haven't done yet. I'll have all of these suggestions linked up in the show notes. Please do give consideration to how you can be kinder to yourself, how you can be more self-compassionate. I'll have more to say about both of these topics in episodes ahead, but I wanted to give you a head start and encourage you to give thought to all of these possibilities. Choose the possibilities that feel right for you. I'll also have more to say about setting life themes and how powerful they can be. I'll have more to say about that in future episodes. For now, I encourage you to take action and enhance your self-care in ways you might not have considered before. You'll find all of the suggestions I've shared in this episode in the show notes. If you're not yet following the Easy Stress Cures podcast, this is a perfect time to do that. Find us on all of the major podcast listening apps and on our website at stressreliefradio.com, stressreliefradio.com. If you would like to be in touch, email me at cartermethod at gmail.com. Until our next visit together, your host here, Stephen Carter, wishing for you and your loved ones blessings in abundance.